DCS 200-105C, 67 Vietnam. Camera rolls 1, 2, and 3. Tape roll 3. Wild track narration by Spec 4 Curtis. Throughout time, warfare has brought about many changes and much innovation in military equipment. These changes come about largely due to the changing needs of the soldier and to accommodate the various terrains of the world. The guerrilla type war being fought in the Republic of Vietnam is no different. It has become the parent of many new and sometimes impressive vehicles of war. One such piece of equipment impressively named the V-100 commando car, is currently being tested by the military police in Vietnam. The commando is an amphibious, multi-purpose combat vehicle that is equally at home under the blistering sun of a Middle Eastern desert or in the lush, dense growths of a tropical jungle. It can bulldoze barricades or trees, climb 70% grades, and propel itself through bodies of water at five miles per hour. It has numerous gun ports and dual 30 caliber machine guns, which are electrically operated and can deliver devastating firepower. Besides being armor plated, all exposed armored surfaces are angled for possible ricochet of incoming fire. For military police operations such as convoy escorts, road clearings, PW escorts, and direct combat support, the commando has proven a success even beyond its own capabilities. In one instance, it recovered a bogged bulldozer that weighed far more than the commando's own seven and a half tons. The commando is proving to be an invaluable tool in military police work, a vehicle with mobility, armored protection, and firepower. Prior to the coming of the V-100 commando car, military policemen depended solely on the old reliable the M151 quarter-ton Jeep. Here again, modification and change were necessary. Several of the Jeeps assigned to each MP company had been armor-plated and armed with the M60 machine gun. These modified Jeeps were used for patrolling the city of Saigon and other cities throughout Vietnam during the hours of curfew. The Jeeps are also used as escort vehicles for convoys and on road clearing operations. In the cities, in the narrow streets and alleyways, the armored jeep has the advantage of maneuverability over the larger V-100. The M-151 armored jeep and the V-100 commando car are the two most used pieces of equipment in the arsenal of the military policemen. These two vehicles are helping the military police to deter and in fact stop the would-be Viet Cong terrorist in the city and on the highway. Reporting for the Department of the Army Special Photographic Detachment in the Pacific, this is Army Specialist Dave Curtis. Wild track narration, Sergeant Talbot. My name is Sergeant James Towers from A Company 720th MP Battalion. I'm the car commander on the V100. Uh, the armament on the V100, the bottom plate is 3 eighths of an inch, and the sides are a quarter of an inch. It has different bevels on it, which will uh, ricochet all small arms fire. The engine is 361 Chrysler with 212 horsepower. It has a five-speed transmission with four-wheel drive. It is both amphibious and a land vehicle. It will do 3.8 knots on water and approximately 60 miles per hour on land. 